You are about to enter the Chrome Dome. All right, it is time to head in to the Time Warp 2 and complete the voices commands. Let's do it. All right, we faced all of these monsters before: stone golems, living spirits, living corpses, and ancient artillery. So straight into the tomb we go. After descending the ladder, you creep your way through the musty tomb. With the defense network turned off, everything seems dormant. It should just be a simple matter of retrieving a vessel and getting out of this ghoulish place. You approach the sarcophagus in the center chamber, and it occurs to you that the voice has not spoken to you since you entered the tomb. You don't think much about it, and grab hold of the vessel at the foot of the stone coffin. The eerie silence is pierced once again by the high-pitched sound of a siren. It reverberates throughout the small room and assaults your ears. From the corners of the shadows you see movement. Automated guns designed to kill all intruders. Alright, only short. Be the first to kill. Well, I'm definitely... I like to take long rest with him. With her. So we're going to go with first to kill. I doubt it will happen. Uh, five award total cards is virtually impossible... This is also virtually impossible, but we'll try this. Maybe we get lucky. Uh, below half is something we could probably do. All right. So this is a really weird scenario. Really weird. It's kind of, it's, it, it's cool though. I like it. You grow furious at the voice for not warning you about this extra security and then channel that fury into doing whatever it takes to emerge from this tomb alive. So the problem is, these are annoying when there's this many of them out here like this. So what we're going to do is swap you guys. Put you in the middle. Righteous Strength, Defensive Stance. Put you here. And... So the bear is going to go down right here, and then is going to step to this guy. So he's going to go right here, here, step here, attack this guy. So I think I do an energizing strike with him after dropping concentrated rage over here. We're going to prepare for the kill by moving up, and there are no traps or anything in this room. I think what I'll do is to prepare for the kill as the attack and do this for disadvantage. Alright. Bear. Oh, we can go a lot of places, huh? See, that's a really good spot. Let's do that. Because that'll let me do the uh, double attack next turn. Alright. Uh, so we are going to go stand here. Draw those attacks onto me. I think that's probably the right play. And attack this guy. This is going to hurt right here a lot. That could be real bad. Could be real bad there. I can disarm one guy. Not worth that. Be a good time to get lucky. That is not what lucky looks like. So we have to survive this round. Which is probably going to go really bad. Yep. This is what I was worried about.
Yeah, see, this is where I may have completely screwed this whole thing up in the very, very first turn. Yeah, see? Alright, at least those guys go over there. Oh, I have Steam Armor now. Next class worth of damage from targets attacking you gain shield 1. Okay. Well, it didn't go as bad as I thought it would. Alright, so you're going to attack there. What are we going to do? We can't move is the problem. We're going to heal them. Let somebody recover car. No, we're just going to do the heal. There's the heal. Go as quickly as you can for that. Over here, we're definitely going to do Vicious Ally. We're not, you can't move, so there's no point in doing a move. And we're going to lose the top anyways, which probably means... I don't want to go too fast, though, because I want the targets to go. The targets aren't going to really matter. They're going to go here or there, no matter what. So that's going to be fine. And over here, you're killing that guy. And probably going invisible. Okay. Kill probably that guy. Alright, well that does suck. Okay, and let's go ahead and bring that card back get set up for next round. Alright, got that one. Almost got that one. Alright, I guess your heal has to go here, right? And you can't move. That's fine. Yeah. So this is where I had problems. I should have put him somewhere else. I mean, granted, having the AoE on the first turn didn't help a lot, but... I'm in pretty bad shape at this point. Okay, I can move now, and you probably need to get to these this guy right here. Probably need to go right there for an attack four, and you're going to need to move one, two, three, four to get there, which is practical plans. Uh, actually, we don't have to do practical plans. We do have that up, so we'll do scales and boots. We'll get us there. One, two, three, four, and over here, we're going to heal you and heal ourselves. While you go ahead and do a basic attack on this guy, and then move over next to this guy. Push one, target all, range three. Yep, yeah, that's bad. All right. Uh, do what you can here. All right, got that out of the way. Thanks. Get our darkness up. Over here, we are not going to be doing anything like that. Bollocks! Alright, now we have to do this. So bad. Uh, let's go ahead and grab these cards back because I have a feeling we might very well need them. that. Use that. Pop over to here. Let's 
Stun that guy. Hit that guy. Alright. This has gone so bad for the first room. This is such a rough room, though. All these AoEs and... You know, huge range guys spread around. Not great. Alright, uh, we're gonna move across, and we're gonna do that there. Uh, we're gonna do the heal four again. On ourself, and... So instead, we're going to Rampage, control that. You are going to go... We don't even have to move very far, so do that to kill him. All right. Oh, not yet. Okay, and kill this guy. All right. Got him. All right, so you're going to move one, two, three, four to get there. So we can give up the bottom with that. I think that's okay. Right? Yeah, that's fine. Or I give up nothing, and that's better. Yeah, that's better. Because now I can do this. Here. Hit that thing, and then heal up a little bit over here. Just in case more thing, bad things happen. On well, the bright side, there's plenty of... Yeah, that was nice. Plenty of gold laying around for me to pick up over here. Alright, Jason Ally can attack, I will attack, uh, attack, attack, and whatever those are. Take your plus three, and kill it. Great. And we're going to go ahead and pop the heal one on all. And go pick up that gold. Where's the door? That is the door there. So uh, we're going to go and pop the boots and go right there. So this is the direction we're going, huh? And that's our exit tile. Mercenaries must be placed on an exit tile to complete the scenario. Escape occurs when all mercenaries are standing on exit tile become exhausted. This scenario actually has different rules. So as soon as a mercenary hits that tile, they escape. That's all we have to do is get out. Okay. Go invisible. Alright. And now I guess we're going to move five. Go grab that gold. And not do that. I didn't think it was going to be the first to kill a monster in that scenario. Long rest. Long rest. Long rest. Alright. And what are we going to lose here? We definitely have to keep that because he has to escape out the other side. That's probably worth keeping. Uh, this one probably isn't. And... We do probably need to push things at some point. Wings of the Knights probably can go. And over here. Probably cautious advance. All right. Other than the fact that you're beat down and you've lost two cards, we are alive. So you're going to start this off by moving... It's probably going to be the move to attack invisible. So we have options there. Over here, after everybody's gone, we're going to go late... 
with a practical plans into a holy strike to stun whatever we need to and you're gonna go late with a borrowed essence into a rampage that'll give us space to move if we need to and relocate okay let's see what we got you break out of the main room into an antechamber. What was once dormant is now teeming with the living corpses of those long ago entombed here. And more than that, the way back to the surface is now closed off. You look around, desperate for some way to stop this situation going from bad to worse. Alright, so this guy's gonna attack poison, attack poison, attack poison, move th range three, move, th move three, blah blah blah. Uh, these guys are going at 66, which is bad for us because it is after everybody else is gone. These guys are going before everybody else goes. Uh, so we might as well go ahead and step to here. These are damage six poison traps, which that's pretty fucking annoying. And we have to hit this pressure plate to open the next door. This is one thing, another thing I don't like about digital. It doesn't give you all the information that Tabletop gave you. So I know because of Tabletop, that to advance, I have to hit this tra th this this pressure plate to open this door. Also, know that there's there, there that more things are going to show up when I do that. All right, let's go and hit this guy. Or no damage, great. But we are set up for next round. Okay. Here come the spirits. Did get there. Didn't get there. Nice. All right, so right now, I can move one, two, three, four, five. Would get me there if I used, got rid of both the top and the bottom. I would attack for five. If I get rid of just the top, I can position myself here, which is actually probably better. So let's do that. Okay. All right, what are you doing again? You're gonna move five and stun. So you're gonna move past me and stun this guy. This guy's still gonna be available to kick the living crap out of me for an attack five. That part is very bad. So I think I'm going to not move him any further. I will instead heal him. It's a much better idea. And we're also going to generate the earth for our night shroud to kill things. All right, so if I go here. That, that guy's going to walk around. I'll stun this guy. This guy will walk up. That's fine. Axiom here. Alright, so he's gonna move one, two, and this guy's gonna be dead before he goes, because he's gonna go one, two, three into this spot and hit both of those guys really hard. On 17. You are gonna go as fast as possible, go invisible again, and swallow by fear this guy. Good. All right, well, that is very not good. But at least this one's dead. All right, and we want to be hitting hard. That would be a miss, but let's do it again. Ain't no misses left. There's one down. There is one down. <laughs> Alright, so... You are going to hit super hard. But only, but only if I'm next to you. 
I could pop the boots and go next to this guy or go past that guy. I don't want to be hit for six. So I am going to go away from this guy. All right. Yeah, that guy is going to shoot him. Hey, easy now. Alright, so you're going to step back in and hammer blow him. Uh, you are going to do... Already lost the, the attack three pierce because I forgot about the being living spirits in this room. That's a shame. Uh, you need to push this guy through two traps. So you need to move one, two, three to here, which is good, and terror blade him through those traps, which will kill that guy. All right. So, oh boy, that does not work. At least you're not doing anything. I could still push you, but not through traps now. kill this guy. So why don't I do that? Really, I can't push him because I can't get past this guy. Alright. Okay, so let's kill this guy then. That doesn't work at all. misses. See if you can kill this guy. You can. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, that's fine. What is it? Mobilize? Yes, I'm mobilized. Alright, go ahead and try to kill this guy. Alright. And you are mobilized, so you're not moving. But he is dead. Okay. We have to open up these spots to get to this pressure plate. So we are going to short rest. I guess that's going to be fine. And we have boots. We can go one, two, three, four to here. Which will set us up for next round. You are no longer in a bad shape. So we're going to do that. And we're going to long rest here. All right, so move to boots to here. And then we're going to hit you. More disability, great. Push you across the floor and kill you. Alright. So we can now heal somebody. Probably you. And step on that. Alright. So bad things happen in a minute here when I step on things. Definitely need that heal. We definitely need that heal. We can probably. Do we de oh, no, don't do that. Don't do that. Uh, I guess it has to be Bard S's, right? Because we need to be able to do the swap in order to get out of this room, out of this world. Um, we need the heals. We probably. We need the attacks. We need the rampage for the positioning. So I guess it's got to be that one. Alright. Long rest. Uh, you're going to move towards the door, I think. We're going to do the double heal, I think, at this point, right? Yeah. Double heal there. And over here. Kind of want to be where you are and loot one next turn. But I want to get this going, too. 
but I do that. I don't do that while everybody's resting. So. I have no way to generate that. I guess I do have the I have the helmet. I can do the helmet thing. That's just fine. So let's do this. So we will eat it. Yeah, we'll do that. Move three. And I guess that. Alright, so we're gonna head move to here. Because I think all hell's going to break loose as soon as I hit this button. And we're going to eat that into that. So we're ready. And do that. And we're ready. Alright, everybody else get ready. Don't do that. Do that. And that. Get everybody, get him healed back up. He got his long rest going. And we will lose. So we like our stuns. We need our heal. We need our big move. That move. It's got to be righteous strength. All right. It is time. All right. So you're going to go fast. Step on the door. I have to step on it, so I can't use all this stuff I've saved up here. So we're going to do that. So spirit's ready if I need it. Actually, yeah, let's let's just do that. That way Swallow's ready if I need it. But it's not probably, it doesn't really matter too much. Uh, so that's going to happen on 11, which means he's set up on 17 to rampage wherever he needs to be. I don't know that the, the Beast Master is going to make it. We have to get all the way to this door. He's going to... The bear's just going to have to run to that door. And what do I have left to make him run with? All I think I have is the is the move zero thing. And that's the bottom. So if I get with the bottom, he's not going to have the plus three. So... Yeah, it's going to be tough. That's going to be really tough. All right. Uh, over here, 17's happening there. Mobile Axiom in to Tactical Orders into a Stun Holy Strike. Got it. All right. So we're going to step onto the door. And unfortunately, that gives me nothing to do. All right. So we have... One, two, three ancient artillery. A couple of stone golems here. Push two, shield two, attack two. That's fine. All right. Well, you're definitely doing that. Attack four, range three, pull two, immobilize. It's not great. So with his movement ability, all I can do is uh, step back here, I guess. We're going to need an extra element next turn. Alright, uh, what do you want to stun? That guy's not horrible. This guy's not great, though. Go ahead and hit this guy to stun. And... Might as well grab this while I can. And we're going to need... Extra darkness next round to kill this guy. Okay, so the door's unlocked, but it didn't open. That's actually pretty good. Oh, they didn't go this round. That's even better. All right, uh, so you need to short rest and not that card. We need to get that back. 
and move to get that in and then kill this guy which means the bear will then go one two hit that guy on the long rest and over here you're gonna go get this with that attack and that move do love me some scales of justice not gonna lie all right so move not that way I guess it is a jump, doesn't matter too much. Take this guy down. And you're gonna need cards back. So get both of those back. She got other things to do, buddy. Alright, uh. So we are just going to move to here and focus down on this guy. Okay. Oh no! That was super bad. That wasn't great. That was also not good. Alright, we have to have the swap. The heal can probably go at this point. Alright, so the Beast Tyrant has not many rounds left. I need to clear this room, open this door, swap, and have them run. Right, I don't have any adjacent allies, but I don't mind using that for the move and the massive attack. Uh, you need to get over there. I don't want to go through the door. I have no boots. Oh, that's not you. I have boots. I have no boots. I do have a jump, though, but the jump won't help me. I need to get to here. One, two, three, four, five. And with no boots, that's not going to happen. I do have a move push. So if I go late enough, he steps up. It won't help me until that guy... So he steps there. I can go one, two, three, four, five. Still not going to get there. So it's going to be a black arrow type of turn. Um, yeah, let's just set up for next round. We'll do that. Over here. So I have four cards, which means... Two turns, a rest, one turn, a rest, one turn. I have four actions left. So I have to kill this guy, get into the next room, move as far as I can, swap, and get out the door. That is not going to be easy. All right. You're good, you're good, you're good. Let's go. All right, the stone golem's taking some damage here. Uh... Do I go here? I don't want to go there for sure. He is going to step... He's going to kill this guy and step here. He's, gonna, he's not going to move, so he's going to attack with a disadvantage on wherever I go. I'll step there. Honestly, this is probably the most dangerous thing I have left. This one I assume is going to die. This one I assume is going to die with two fives and a five with advantage. So, yeah, I think this is the right play right here. He's definitely not dead. He's definitely not dead, Jim! He's dead. Get 
some disadvantage shots here. Oh, it's that. And some immobilizes too to go with it. And then you found the curse. And one damage. Do that. Do that. You can't move. So what do I do? I could do a range attack and lose a card. That doesn't seem like... Oh, not even a range attack. It's, just, it's a local attack. So I guess I just do this. Eat that for the XP. Wow, that's bad. I guess I'd do that. Oh, great! Retaliate on the Stone Golem. Even better! Alright. The bear's not moving this round anyways, and the Ancient Turtle are going already. On 17, huh? Great. God! Could this day go and get any worse? Holy crap! Alright, so we have lost this scenario. All right, we'll wipe it up. Let's see what we can get experience-wise on this last turn here. Because this is over. At first, that bad first room and then that movement right there also didn't help. Uh, so we'll play this. It's two XP. All right. That is it, because you it says it's lose if one mercenaries die. He hasn't died yet, but he's about to. So I guess we do get one more turn. Uh, that gives us experience. That gives us experience. Uh, long rest, you. Might as well do what you can to get experience, right? Right. Get some XP on that one. Get that. And we'll do this. matter what I do. Oh, it does a little bit. No, it doesn't. Do that. Fine, whatever. I might could have gotten out. I don't know. But once I got pushed through there, I was definitely not getting out. I don't know why we're still playing. All right, good game, good game, good game. Not really. That first room I set up poorly, and if I had spread out more, uh, I would have been okay. And I probably need to plan that a little better the next time around, which will be tomorrow. Up to 200 gold, though. Slowly but surely moving on up. People got some decent money at this point. All right, so tomorrow we will do our level outs, we'll do our perks, we'll do our city event and road event, and head back out to the... Is it... Oh, Time Worn Tomb. Time Worn Tomb is tomorrow. OBG out.